Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This, I assume when I post this, it will be May the 4th. I'm kind of liking this upload one a day thing, but may the 4th be with you. Always. 12 o'clock location, this is on <laughs> Sylphid, by the way. 12 o'clock location, we have Pink, Terran, Mars, taking game one, Bate in the bottom left-hand corner as the yellow Protoss. I feel like there's got to be some space or room for a StarCraft Star Wars crossover thing, right? I mean, obviously there's a lot of influence there. Which is, I mean, maybe in the Protoss space primarily with like the Dark Templar, High Templar thing. Actually, if you guys want a little fun tidbit, go back and watch uh, Akira Kurosawa's Hidden Fortress. And just make the equation that Samurai are Jedi and Peasants are R2-D2 and C-3PO. And the Princess is the Princess. And it's like, yeah, okay, this is the exact same movie. There's a lot of borrowing back and forth in that space. Actually, if you... Guys, watch The Mandalorian, which I was watching recently with family. I like that show. Politics notwithstanding. Uh, let it be, I suppose. Um, there was an episode where they also did kind of, I think, an intentional overt homage to Akira Kurosawa as kind of like a deep line meta thing. Maybe I'll talk about that in some rant sometime. Anyway, Probe Scout moving out for Bate. He's going to move to that 12 o'clock location. This is an interesting location to put this from Mars. And honestly, I'm wondering if it leaves him somewhat vulnerable to early zealot pressure. Because usually when you want Marines having this kind of space to dive in between, you want it near the SCV line so that you can engage and back engage. But I don't know, maybe he's planning on running back and forth the mineral line. But the thing is, is when you're running across these SCVs and whatnot, they can be frustrating and getting in the way. We aren't seeing any double gateway opener, though. We are seeing an assimilator opener. Looks like Bate is going to get the scout first this time, which is very important against a player like Mars. Probe trying to do what he can. He has plopped down a refinery. We'll see how many SCVs decides to dedicate to gas. But opting for uh, and three, three probes inside gas, which looks like we're leaning to more of a tech build, cybernetics core along that back area. This is nice just in case SCVs decide to wander over there and get caught. Only a single SCV on gas, which suggests we're going to see that factory into expansion opener from Mars. Ooh, might get an SCV kill to delay that supply depot. It looks like that SCV is going to go ahead and back off and allow another SCV to go out there. Marine now making his way to try to take on that probe. It's kind of the interesting dash. And I think Bate is just going to back off with that probe at this stage. Mars backing out as well. So yeah, all indicators from Mars at this stage are, and he actually isn't even producing a second Marine, is that he, oh, is he just going to sneak for a command center? This is greedy. Yeah, that's very greedy. Ooh. Okay, so we'll see if Bate sees sees this is happening. He's going to go ahead and get that cybernetic score. Maybe this might be a I know my opponent sort of deal. He's getting that bunker up. But this is a skip of, so he's going to play a little bit more aggressively. Th the thing with this is when you don't have a ramp to protect, uh, for that misfire rate and, and you're protected natural, that means if you are if you get run over, there's nothing to protect your main, right? You, you can't reseal up, pull your command center back. It's like all exposed. That's my feeling on it. I'd like to hear, actually, if Bate or Mars or anybody from BSL is watching this, I'd like to hear their comments on it. The factory also is going to be a little bit delayed with those tanks, which is going to allow those Dragoons to wail on things a little bit longer. Fortunately for him, he's not going to pay for it because it looks like Bate has gone for a command center himself. We'll see if he gets an additional scout in and and I, this is kind of clever from Mars because he's playing a little bit risky, but essentially what he's relying on is, is the fact that there's no additional scouting information that can pull up here. We do have a probe along this edge and I'm wondering if we might see some proxy tech. It looks like he's just thinking about trying to sneak in and get additional eyes. See if I can drop. So he does see the command center and everything else and he's just gonna suicide that probe in to make sure he gets a good solid look. SEV moving around, uh, around, around that bottom left hand corner he might be able to get a spot on this nexus and it looks like he's going to get a full scout actually range just finishing so he's going to be able to wander yeah right and see absolutely everything two gateways up range just finishing that's actually a big win for mars as well so i don't think mars is going to pay or getting a second gateway i think mars will be okay with this realizing that he's probably not going to face any early pressure because of this early nexus take He's going to go ahead and go for double factory. And let's see if he goes for, again, sort of that FD, not exactly FD, the late FD. I'm not sure what to call that build. I'm sure there's a name for it. I'm just not a Terran player. And I haven't put a lot of time into studying the Terran build orders, which I should. 
Uh, but you guys let me know. I do it by asking you guys questions and then reading the comments. I think that is a fast and efficient way to accomplish these things. Anyway, see if he goes for kind of the, the tank vulture upgrade uh, sort of follow-up. He is producing two tanks, it looks like. Dragoons starting to work their way on that bunker and do what damage they can. They have to be a little bit careful at that range. First tank is out. Once that second tank's out, there will be safety. And I don't think this is enough Dragoons to really dive on these tanks. So Bate is going to have to back off a little bit. Mars sneaking. Ooh, snuck another SCV out. Wondering if that is to do additional scouting. Still need to be careful with it. Okay, that one Dragoon down. Yeah, Bate actually and group repair on that tank. This is... If you're diving with that few amount of Dragoons, you need to be very careful. Bate losing both Dragoons as a result. Two more Dragoons at home base, just in case some Vultures were doing some sneak by. And once again, Bate finding himself in a very, very, very difficult starting position. Because losing those Dragoons and kind of that harassment control, even with, yeah, even with these three tanks, it looks like, and are we going to see the Vulture? Yeah, so this is what I was expecting. I didn't know the number of tanks to start was the thing. I was wondering, is it like one tank? Is it a two tank? But it's going to be three tanks, two SCVs, three Marines, some Vultures and Mines and Speed to follow. And there are only two Dragoons on the front door. Not a lot of Dragoons. I don't think Bate can hold this back, to be honest. I don't think he has the the raw... Because he's going for this, this tech follow-up to try to slow that economy down, I think this might just be a build order win. Four Dragoons to fight all this. It's going to... It can, it, can, blah, it could come down to micromanagement. One Marine down. But that's a lot of shields that were melted. More vultures are going to follow this up. Mines right on top of the dragoons, which, first of all, is that going to land? Where does it hit? One SCV down, one dragoon down. Probes coming off to try to provide some defense. All the dragoons. One, sorry, one dragoon left. Now no dragoons left. It is just probes on SC, uh, probes on tanks, which is not the situation. GG. Yeah, GG from Bate and Mars. Yeah, dangerous player with a lot of his builds. Part of it is, is it just seems like he has a I like his thought process he plays a little bit risky but on top of it he just really knows when he has those dagger opportunities and really seems to be able to just pull the trigger you know and just slice through and get it done hope you guys enjoyed it we will move so game three will be up on the fifth <laughs> and we'll continue I'm hoping to do let me know what other series you want me to do. I kind of want to do Sone versus Style to like keep the cohesive people that I saw in the round 16. I think uh, there's some other games out there. I'll let you know in game three, which I might dive into right this second for the Twitch stream. Also, I'm realizing for like a Patreon bonus, I think I might do this. I will actually load these all up to uh, YouTube and go from there. And that, or, or to Patreon. So if you're a Patreon subscriber, you can watch them like immediately, and that'll be a Patreon reward. And otherwise, I'll just do the daily release. How does that sound? Although then, if you're on Patreon, it might be like a spoiler. I don't know. I don't know. We'll we'll make it work as time goes on. We'll figure it all out. We'll figure it out together. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.